Welcome back to Hannity. There are new details regarding the Martin Bashir, Sarah Palin controversy. Now, first, Breitbart.com has exclusively obtained a letter that was sent to NBC News from the Sarah Palin Political Action Committee. Now, that letter not only inquired about what disciplinary measures the network was going to take against the host, but also asked a very interesting question. It read in part, quote, you fired Don Imus for offensive language in describing the Rutgers University women's basketball team. You suspended Alec Baldwin, and yet nothing has has happened to Mr. Bashir, are we to assume then that disciplinary procedures at your network take place based on the target of the remarks rather than the remarks themselves? Well, I can't wait to hear the answer to that one. Meanwhile, Fox's own Howie Kurtz is reporting that the former Alaska governor has canceled her Christmas season interview with Matt Lauer as a protest against the network. And just in case you missed it, Martin Bashir said on Friday that Governor Palin deserves the same punishment given out by an 18th century slave master who forced slaves to defecate and urinate in other slaves' mouths. When Mrs. Palin invokes slavery, she doesn't just prove her rank ignorance. She confirms that if anyone truly qualified for a dose of discipline from Thomas Thistlewood, then she would be the outstanding candidate. Here with Reaction, author of the best-selling book, Never Trust a Liberal Over Three. Hello, Ann Coulter. Hello, Sean Hannity. This is so vile, twisted, sick, and ugly. Yeah. It's, Nothing happens to the guy. What would happen if any conservative radio TV... This goes far beyond this. Far I mean, beyond. What kind of diseased mind comes up with something like this? And I think it's worth pointing out what... I, I, I mean, it's hard for me to imagine any circumstance in which you would call for someone's mouth to be defecated into. But it is a massive overreaction to the speech they are complaining about. Sarah Palin was talking about the financial slavery coming to all Americans if the government keeps spending. Before she used the word slavery, she expressly said, I am not talking about racial slavery. So, you know, your average liberal would have to say, oh, well, there's nothing there. Let's all go home and dream of happier days when we can nail her on something. They have nothing. And he goes on this this peculiar overreaction. He is. He, he is someone who really doesn't believe anything. He just desperately wants to keep his job. And if MSNBC announced one day we're going all Nazi, he'd be fine with it. I'll, I'll be a Nazi by five. He just wants to keep his job. This is the reaction of someone who has no true emotion or beliefs and thinks, oh, is this how you now, humanoids look, criticize one whether, another? Whether you like Brian Williams, Tom Brokaw, Matt Lauer, whether you like him or not, this is a brand that is damaged now. now it's, and by the way, you just told me that you, you have a column coming out tomorrow. You're defending Alec Baldwin. Yes, I am. All right, before we do that, let's, <laughs> let's play a little remembering of Alec Baldwin, reminder of what I you're defending you're here. Let's, let's roll the videotape. <laughs> what are you going to do? Thank you. I'll help you Thank you. You're the one that almost hit my wife with the microphone in the face. Oh, you didn't? Hate your yeah. Wife. yeah. I honestly did yeah. not. We have you want to apologize to her on camera? I, I asked you a question. Do you want to apologize to her? I asked you a question. I did nothing wrong, Alex. Alex, you think it's a good idea? Why are you exaggerating what happened? I want you to get to me. Back up, man. I got to get my car. Get back up. Back up. Back up. I'm leaving this message with you to tell you you have insulted me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child. So you better be ready Friday the 20th to meet with me. So I'm going to let you know just how I feel about what a rude little pig you really are. You are a rude, thoughtless little pig, okay? Now, wait a minute. He's telling reporters, I hope you choke to death. He's telling a woman, screaming at a woman, war on women. He's screaming at her, get the blank out of here. You hear how he talks to his daughter. Then I'm not even mentioning having a plane have to go back and get him off the plane because he can't stop playing with his, his little game on his uh, I totally iPhone. support him on that. All right, you're, uh, <laughs> you're out of you're your gonna mind. You're going to defend this? Why, yes, why the would they hire way, him? Look, the same way Sarah Palin asks M M or MSNBC or NBC, um, do you have a different standard on which comments and words are appropriate depending on the target, um, I think 
uh, some conservatives have a little bit of a different standard depending on who says the words. And it's one thing to say, as you did at the beginning, what would happen if a conservative said that. I happen to agree with you on this, but I think this is really small bore and, and, and sh short term thinking to go after Alec Baldwin I'm not, for I'm using not saying certain to fire anybody. words. I didn't even say to fire Bashir. But we're playing their um, game, and in all of these cases, oddly enough, it, it, perhaps it is an accident, Alec Baldwin is angry and frustrated at targets that conservatives conservatives traditionally hate. Reporters, harassing stalkers, useless government regulations, which, by, by the way, have been overturned. Ann Coulter, and the man the is unhinged. Why do you hire an problem. unhinged... He has a what problem? He has a temper problem. To, to say it mildly. All right, let me give one more and example. Wait, 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 wait. Just right, let me ahead. say one thing about... I mean, the, the ugliest one is obviously that phone call, and I'm sure it makes you happy that it pains him every time that plays. Look, he was exploding over something that, that, that he... That he there is legitimate anger toward our divorce laws and child custody laws, which have been written by uh, feminists uh, you, you, you are, and are relentlessly you, you biased against men. You have gotten weak in your old no, age. You look, are, he may be a jerk are and have bad politics, but he's right about custody no, laws. He is li right about government right regulation. To talk to your he's daughter right that way. It's never right to act stalker. like way on a plane. Anne. He's right about reporters. These obnoxious reporters leave him. Leave the man All right, alone. So I walk up to a woman and I use the f word and scream at her and call her an idiot, and I'm going to get hired by a network? Well, I don't. Come on. Look, she's a reporter who's obviously harassing him. In his harassing? I mean, she's asking a question. He's getting if it wasn't cargo. for reporters, Look, we don't know the details of this, but most of the time it is not that they are coming. Right. I got one more example. This one. They are harassing him, trying to go about his Ed day. Schultz. I'm so, four reporters being I'm hit. Can't, oh, we don't even have time for Matthews and Sharpton. Let's go to Schultz. <laughs> you damn right, Dick Cheney's heart's a political football. We ought to rip it out and kick it around and stuff it back in him. Uh, I'm glad he didn't tip over. He is the new poster child for health care in this country. He is an enemy of the country, in my opinion. Dick Cheney is. He is an enemy of the country. Lord, take him to the promised land, will you? See, I don't even wish the guy goes to hell. I just want to get him the hell out of here. Do you know what they're talking about? Like this right-wing slut, what's her name, Laura Ingram? Yeah, she's a talk slut. You gonna defend this imbecile, too? <laughs> no, I'm not, but I still don't support... I mean, I wouldn't listen to him. He's vulgar and, and stupid, but... Um... I don't support the word police, and I don't like when conservatives jump on I'm this bandwagon. I'm not band supporting the word police. I know I'm you looking, aren't, but an awful is, lot of people are. The NBC and news And to play brand, their game is why, helping them and supporting their worldview that a person should be fired for a word he uses. And there are people Usually that are paid to listen to every word you and I utter, and Rush Limbaugh, Mark right. Levin utter, and everything said on Fox, with the very purpose of catching us right. saying one thing that's not right. correct so they can target our advertisers and get us fired. Right. Listen to what they say but every day. I and agree. NBC hires I them. agree, and I think it's great for you to play that so that people see what lying hypocrites they are. I am just How saying, vile they are. I'm just saying I am not going to play their game and be shocked and demand that they be fired. Right. He's an idiot, <coughs> but I don't think anyone should be fired for, for using a politically incorrect word. This is the thing I'm about not calling liberals. for firing. They I'm pointing no, out a double standard. I know standard. you aren't. I, liberals have no moral opprobrium for, for wild polymorphous perversity, for adultery, for lying, for criminality. The one thing that gets their goat is when a politically incorrect word is used. I got to roll. I'm against that. Thank you, Ann Coulter.